He's got all the mobs together. What is he going to do with all these mobs chasing him? He hits them all with one beam attack and ends all their lives in one hit in less than 18 seconds. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Roball, back again for another video. Today, we're playing the One Punch Man Project. Project One Punch Man, that's what it's called. And we're playing with my boy, Echo Nefarious, because we're, today we're showcasing the alien class. The new class just got added about 30 minutes ago, so... We just got added, guys. We're going to be showcasing in this video. As you can tell, my boy Echo's right here. He's an S plus rank. I'm super weak. I'm level 80s too, so I can't only really 1v1 him at the moment. Maybe we'll do 1v1 anyways. This dude is the alien, and this is what the alien currently looks like. You have a little armor thing. He's super fast because he's strong. And he also has all the transformations and all the skills for the alien. Now, the first skill for alien, I'm going to go ahead and uh, come here. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. No, come here. Come here. No. What, what is he doing? No, no. Come here. Come, come here. Come here. Come here. The first skill for alien. No, come here. Come here. The first skill for what is he doing? N no, come he, come here. No, the first skill for alien is well. That's the first skill for alien. I was trying to get him to show up here first before he fought those. Come here. Oh my gosh. Okay, show the first skill. Show the Z. Show the Z. The first skill is Z, guys. I'm not gonna try to get him to fight those yet. That's gonna be towards the end of the video. His Z move is this right here. It's basically like a spirit ball move from Dragon Ball Z, which is pretty dope. I like this move so far. It's not that bad. Now his second move. And now his second move is the X move. The X move is similar. I, be I believe he's a little bit different than Z, actually. X move basically lets him do this right there. It's basically my C move right here, but the alien version of that. It's pretty cool. There's two different versions, but he needs a target to hit. So let's go ahead and have him hit the C king. The C monster, please. C monsters, have him hit the C monster. And you'll see how powerful he is with that move. The Z move, as you can tell, could one shot. Now the X move for him basically does a one shot damage if it takes some time. So it takes about three or less seconds to kill this monster, which is a demon threat level. So that means he's at least a demon threat level or higher, which means the alien class is pretty decent, especially for S plus ranked player who has prestige already, which I believe he has already done, which is pretty cool too. Now we're gonna go ahead and get, oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and have him do a C move now. Now the C move, I haven't seen this one just yet. The C move, I've seen the Z and the X, but the C move is the regeneration. So if something hits him, I believe he needs to lower his health and he can get regenerated with it too. So let's go ahead and do this. Yeah. Do not. Yeah. Let's go and do this. Yeah. Hit him with that stuff right there. Do -do -do. Oh, let's do this. Okay. I'm, I'm going to die. I'm not going to get away from there. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Okay. I'll grab all of them. Yeah. Probably a good idea to get every single one of them on you, except for this one that's chasing me. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. There we go. So they're all on him. As you can tell, he will be taking some damage over time. And this regeneration move, as you can tell by the name, should be healing him, which is going to be pretty dope too, because if we get to see him heal up from this regeneration move, I think that will be a pretty dope skill, especially for the alien class, because that just makes the alien class all the more better to try to get compared to all the other classes, which probably don't have that type of skill. Now, as you can tell, he's a pretty powerful class for his alien. I think his defense is high though. His health is pretty high probably with the stats, but he looks like he's pretty powerful too. And as you can tell by the thumbnail of this video, the alien class does look pretty cool. And you could probably see the armor transformation for the alien with that thumbnail. We're going to go ahead and look at him, do the Z move and kill them all. And then let's have him use his regeneration skill. As you can tell, he heals up just a little bit. I think it does about a quarter, or maybe less HP, which honestly is not that bad because he heals over time. And it's an eight second cooldown too, which is honestly very, very good. So he can basically heal himself to full HP in roughly, I think, 64 seconds or so maybe less i think 32 seconds actually about 32 seconds three to four k health per let me see is at least three to four k health which actually has probably quadruple that so he's about 16 k health when i can tell which means he's a pretty powerful player too so that's a pretty good race skill right there so after he used that the v skill is the next thing which is basically the serious punch for the humans it kind of reminds me of that you see it's a basically the same thing but his isn't really like firing forward his just like fires forward like ricochets forward it looks pretty cool. Let's see if you can use it again for me. Again? Let's see. Look at that. It looks like a straight bullet just firing through. And it looks pretty cool, too. It reminds me of the B move for Superhumans, the final move. But it looks a lot better, in my opinion. I think it's just a little bit better. Now, the damage on that probably should be less with, like, normal stuff. But it can hit multiple targets as... Oh, my God. It can hit multiple targets. The alien class is definitely... Pro it's definitely the most the best race, honestly. Best race in this game so far. Ultimate now. Let's go ahead and have him use the ultimate now, guys. When it comes to the ultimate, I've seen this before. This is one of my favorite transformations in the game compared to all the other ones. Let's go ahead and have him use the ult, oh, not transformation, the ultimate move. This is pretty cool. It's basically like a ranged move. I believe other One Punch Man games have done it too, but they haven't done it like this. Other One Punch Man games don't really do the ultimate move as cool as that, in my opinion. Now, that's a cool move too. I thought that was the ultimate originally, 
But the ultimate move currently looks like that, but like, oh, good job, bro. You, were, you just sniped him, bro. But the ultimate move for this is pretty good. I like the ultimate move. I'm hoping the ultimate moves come out like this. It look pretty cool too. Reset and show ultimate again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and have him reset and show the ultimate again. What I want to try to do, guys, is I want to try to have him race to beat all four of these guys individually in a timed race. So I'm going to tell him to do that, guys, and we're going to time him and see how fast the alien class is. After that, he has to defeat the Sea King over there. And if he can defeat them in less than 30 seconds, that means you guys have to leave a like on the video, guys. If he defeats all five of these mobs in less than 30 seconds, that's the goal, guys. If he does in less than 30 seconds, that means you have to leave a like, guys, okay? Now, I'm probably going to add a counter at the bottom left corner or something like that. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I'm really good at editing. But we'll see, guys. Let's go ahead and add a counter. All right, I'm going to tell him, yo, try to fight all four of these and beat them. Then beat the Sea King all in 30 seconds so we're gonna have him beat him all in 30 seconds and see what happens guys if he can do it all in 30 seconds i think that will be pretty dope we'll see in the post edit if he can do it i think i'm just gonna count down myself 29 28 27 26 Ooh, okay, let's get that one over there okay countdown starts now let's go there we go the countdown has begun i don't know why this thing's attacking me he probably is gonna have to kill it bro what are, you, what are you doing okay countdown's gonna start when he attacks it let's restart the timer he, he needs to start bro you need to start just to start just go ahead and attack them i can't fight them bro i'm too weak okay just fight them bro just fight them, bro. Fight them. Test your might. Okay, I'm, it looks like I'm gonna end up killing these guys. Okay, I'm low on HP now. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh no. So we're gonna restart the timer definitely because I can't even watch the battle if I'm dead like this, okay? So let's go ahead and reload into here and go over there. Now we're heading towards the beach again. We're gonna have him go ahead and start fighting them. When he starts hitting the first person, first mob, I believe, we're gonna go ahead and like start the timer. So let's go ahead and go to the beach, guys. And he's gonna say, when he attacks is when I'll start the timer, guys. I have a timer with me right now. I have to stop watch. Okay. When you hit the first enemy is when I start it. When you hit the first enemy is when I was going to start the timer. After that, we'll show you guys the transformation. He's probably going to use it too. But anyways, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. Go ahead and do it, my dude. He's also wearing the Robros merch, which you can get. Link is down below, guys, to the Robros merch. When you hit the first enemy is when I'll start. Go, go, go. All right, so I can aggro them and make them follow me. That'll start the timer. That'll start the timer, bro. If you aggro them, that'll start the timer, my dude. You gotta just do it, bro. Just do it. Just kill them all. Kill all these dudes, bro. Look at these dudes. Just kill them all, my dude. Come on. You have 30 seconds to kill all these dudes. You can do it. Kill those guys. Okay. He's gonna hit the first dude. Oh, that's gonna start the timer right there. He's about one second into it. Let's go ahead and see if we can get all of them right there. I believe he's going towards the Sea King as well. So he's gonna try to gather them. So far, it's about nine seconds into it. He's got all the mobs together. What is he gonna do with all these mobs chasing him? He hits them all with one beam attack and ends all their lives in one hit in less than 18 seconds with the final form right here. As you can tell, this looks freaking dope. Good model right there. I think he's pretty powerful. In one hit, he beat every single mob, even the Sea King, guys. This just proves as a prestige, the alien race is a good race. I don't know how it is normally. 17 seconds, basically, guys, is how long it was. If you think it was lower than that, go ahead and say that. But I looked at the timer when it was 17 seconds. That was pretty freaking good, guys. Now, that's something I'm probably going to have to do for every single race to see which one does, like, the best in terms of, like, speed and stuff like that or characters or something like that. I think that would be pretty cool. He has some pretty cool too, stuff, too. Like, this alien race is really good. He has good knockback for the X move, I guess, which I believe every race has some sort of knockback. But the knockback for this... It just proved that he's strong, honestly. Look at this armor. Honestly, it just looks cool. The eye and the chest, the, the shoulder pads, these are probably using Roblox Unions and Meshes or maybe Blender. I don't know. But actually, I think it's using Blender. But it looks pretty cool. I think it looks good. It honestly does look good. This is what an alien race should be like. I think other One Punch Man games usually avoid doing stuff like this. They don't really put that much detail into it. But this dude, whoever made this, shout out goes to them because they put a lot of detail into this. And I think they deserve a shout out. Now, I hope they put the shoulder pads onto the shoulders, like the right upper arm instead of doing the torso. 1v1 now? Now, next video, next video. We're going to save the 1v1 for the next video, my dudes and dudettes. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. This is too OP for me. Maybe I'll get someone else, someone who wanted someone who's more powerful. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, guys. Come on, do me that favor. Also, if you want to join the 7 Deadly Sins chat, the Deadly Sins Retribution chat, the link is down below in the description. And the game is linked down below if you want to pre-order any game passes that are 50% off. That will go off sale, or maybe do double the price when the time comes when the game is released, guys. But if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, do all that stuff I just said. Follow me on Twitter at Roball01. Link to the game is down below. As always, enjoy my Roblox group and Discord chat. Links to everything you need down below, like the merch as well. Till then, it's been your man, Roball. I'm signing out now. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace, everybody. Yes, you are done, Echo. And he's just going to wreck all these people. Look at that. You just one hit.
He's too powerful, honestly. I don't know why that didn't hit, but he... Oh my god, he's not... He's glitched. Uh, okay, peace, guys.